you might know that Imperial China was a highly hierarchical society, where the scholar officials at the top and the people of entertainment profession at the very bottom. There was a special household register for people of the entertainment profession called the Yue Hu, or the entertainment household. This category of households included musicians, singers, dancers, as well as people working at various types of brothels. They were slaves, either belonged to the state or to individual families. Members of this class came from the children of prisoners of war, members of former officials who were punished for serious crimes, or people sold into the profession by the state or by their families. This household category was hereditary, and the sons of such household were excluded from sitting for civil service examination, and the daughters of such household were not allowed to marry as the wife, but only as concubines. Their social status were very low. However, because of their profession, the professional musicians, singers, and dancers often perform for people of the highest social status, such as the emperors, the princes, the high-ranked officials. Hence, they often had close personal connections with these people, especially during the reign of Emperor Li Longji, who was known for his fondness of performing art. Li Longji even played the clown in some of the plays he directed in the performing troupe he set up for himself. I'm Dr. Gao, a philosopher obsessed with poetry. I make videos about classical Chinese poetry, philosophies, and traditional Chinese medicine. Please click the like button and subscribe my channel. Your support is very important to me. Any small donation to my channel is much appreciated. I also offer one-to-one -one online lessons on these subjects. If you would like to have personally tailored lessons or read the classical Chinese text with me, please contact me. Here's my email address.